hold him fully. And when it's empty, it does have the lockout. So you know it's empty. So now you pull this down right here. Let the hammer go back. It had one left in it. And a lot, a lot of fun that was. The fully auto plus blowback Beretta M9A3 CO2 air gun. Woohoo! Look at that. That's what comes in the box. It's got a safety here to get, it won't do anything with that safety on. You have to push this button in and then release that. And now it's still locked because it's got another safety. You can do it with your, if you're left handed, you can use your thumb and do it. If you're right-handed, you can use your thumb and do it. When the red dot shows, that means it's ready to go. It does have the lock back when you finish firing your magazine. Unlock it, you pull that down. Now to get the cartridge out, you push this button. This is a very heavy cartridge. The CO2 goes in here. Now, before putting your CO2 in here, take a little bit of oil. Put one drip right here on top. That's all you need. That's the oil I use. Now you put this in like that. You put the cap back on. Once you get it tight, you gotta take and take your wrench. And now it has gas. This is one thing I don't like about it. This little pin here to pull that spring down. You can't do it with your fingernail, really. And you got to get it all the way down here and lock it in down here to put your airsoft BBs in right here. So I'm going to have to get something and pull that down. Okay, this is the perfect little tool, my hacksaw blade. Get a hold of that. I mean, it's tiny right there. This is my one downfall I don't like. And it's hard to do. It's not going over there. Hmm. So that is a problem. That is one thing I don't like about this gun. So you have to hold that down. It's supposed to slide over in that. See that little slot right there? I don't know if you can see it or not. But you're supposed to be able to pull that down and put it over there so it holds that down there. I can't do it with my finger now. That hurts. So I guess I'm just going to have to get some BBs out and put on the table. So I can be ready to put some in. Okay, I laid them over here on this towel. So they won't roll away on me. So now I'm going to try this again. I'm going to pull this down. Easy for me to say. This is one thing I haven't seen in any other videos. And I'm going to put the BBs in here. Wow, this is not easy. This is not easy. And I was going to get another cartridge for it. And they're like $50 a piece. So if you're going to do a lot of shooting with this, you're probably going to have to get another cartridge. Because being this is fully automatic, it's going to take a while to load every time. I mean, there's probably a better way to do this. Like I said, I've watched video, other videos on people that bought the older model. This is a new model. 
and maybe this is just a downfall that they have. Okay, I seem to have it full. Look there, it's staying there now. Look at that. So now I'm going to push it over. And it looks like I could have put a few more in there. So now it's full. Well, it's not full. It has one, two, it has 14. I probably could have got one or two more in there. So now to load it up, you want to make sure the safety's on. Make sure the safety's on. There you go. And now we're going to load this in here. Yeah, that's nice. Now this thing is heavy too. So now I'm going to go out and set up the target and we're going to do a little target practice real quick. Well, I had a lot of fun playing with this today. Now, this video is not sponsored by anybody. I ordered this and paid for it myself. And this is my other one that is not a blowback. It's a single shot. It's a Glock 19. This is my go-to airsoft pistol that I like the best so far. So now back to the Beretta. A couple of things. One, when I got it, it was already scratched right here. And uh, that's the safety. So if it's down there, it's in safety. So that's uh, that was one thing. Uh, like I said, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. But the problem I had which you're going to see in the video, this uh, locked open and the BBs just squirted right out of the top. And then when you take this the clip out, this top rail will just fly right off. I don't understand that. So it won't stay there. You have to lock it in to keep it on there or that will fall off in the dirt. The barrel is just a little bit longer than what I would have expected. I thought this was able to take off and put a silencer on it or a barrel extender, but that's not what it was for. I think I'm going to send this back. The fun button, you put it in the fun button where it fully automatic and it really does not work properly I cannot recommend this one and I'm saddened for that because I was really looking forward to playing with this son and it just did not work out so uh, hate to give you that bad news